Paul. You know, I just uploaded those five videos, but I thought I'd leave myself one to explain the lawsuit. Yes. <laughs> now, I was looking at you in the law. Yeah. They have what's called a pauper, a person so poor that he is entitled to receive public charity. A person who, because of poverty, is permitted to prosecute or defend a suit without being charged with costs. <laughs> See section 87. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, I fit the definition of a pauper. Instead of enforcing my rights and giving me my victim's resources, instead of giving me my assets and my inheritance, instead of just doing what the law requires. Law enforcement decided they're not going to do what the law requires because I'm a pauper. <laughs> I'm homeless. And they would say, well, you don't have any money, so you really can't do anything. <laughs> But as I've explained in the last five videos, those that are sworn oaths did not understand the lawsuit. Now, this is what, this is section 87, appealing the court's decision. Either party to the lawsuit may appeal a trial court's decision, but appeals are expensive unless that party appealing has no funds his lawyer must file a printed record on appeal and a printed appellate brief mm -hmm. an appeal in form of pauperous in the form of a pauper may be authorized upon petition to the appellate court if granted the appeal papers need not be printed typewritten copies will be accepted <laughs> now for every individual, every oath, every sheriff, every police chief, those that are in the postal service, every city, county, state, and federal government employee that has the legal obligation for the enforcement of the laws of the United States, I'm what's known as a pauper. Now let's say you decided that you were just not going to agree to be sued or you dislike the idea of me taking everything you own and you're going to appeal any judgment I get from the lawsuit. <laughs> well, as a pauper, I can appeal every lawsuit. That means I can really screw over every individual. Now let's say that you're one of those attorneys that thinks you don't have to support the Constitution of the state of Washington or the Constitution of the United States. You're one of those attorneys that thinks that I don't have to represent uh, myself in a lawsuit when it involves a person that is defenseless and oppressed. <laughs> I'm one of those Americans that would decide, well, let's appeal all the court decisions because I will get the judgment, I will get your assets, and then if you're a dick, I will appeal every court decision. <laughs> now it turns out that when you decided you're going to violate the rights of a homeless pauper <laughs> that happened to have been a stockbroker, an insurance man, that happens to know quite a bit about the law because of the hundreds of thousands of emails that I've sent, <laughs> that I will make sure that in every lawsuit, the lawsuit, that every judgment sets the precedent that when you decide you're not going to enforce the law, I will decide that I'll appeal every lawsuit. Now you're going to do what the laws of the United States require. <laughs> and the federal government is liable for every appeal of every lawsuit, of every oath of office, every sheriff, every police department, everywhere in the nation. And if somebody tries to screw me out of my assets, I'll keep you in court for the next 20 years. <laughs>